Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here today with a review of the 511 foldable large dump pouch. So, pretty much the reason I was looking at these dump pouches and the thing I like about 511 is the way they have their triple molly set up outside of their fancy little speed clips here. So basically, you can weave it onto any sort of molly battle belt or anything of the like. But you can also skip the first one and it'll fit perfectly on, say, a pistol belt like I have over here. Now I've been doing that with their, uh, yeah, as you can see, skips right over that first one and you can put it around the second and I'll lock it pretty successfully into place, which is what I do with the 511 uh, double magazine pouch. Now, that aside, which I thought was pretty interesting, there is another feature that I had not read in the description, which is that there is a built-in sort of modular battle belt loop already installed. So if you're using a pistol belt or a larger sort of a duty belt, this will slide right over it. No problems, no need for molly. The molly will stay nicely in place, which is what I've been doing with the pistol belt. So actually let's do that. I took the uh, magazine pouches off because they go in front of this, not behind it. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and put this on in place on a Cobra belt. And as you can see, it is a bit bigger than the Cobra belt, but it still sits pretty effectively in place and out of the way. So with this in place, you simply pop this open and the dump pouch will open itself like so. It's a pretty decent size and this can even flop in here. And there's Velcro on the inside to hold it in place so that this is free to start throwing mags in. That's it's quite comfortably. It's a decent size and it has a drawstring if you want to make the opening a bit smaller so your magazines are less likely to fall out. Like so. Otherwise, fully extended if it's out to here. Additionally, you can reach inside, pop this open, pull it closed, and you should be able to prevent your magazines from falling if you need to do any sort of dynamic movement with repelling and the like. And as long as this is on your body, your body will generally hold it against the belt. It won't go flailing all over the place. So, that is how this works. It's really simple, really basic, inexpensive too for the most part. And yeah, pretty, pretty awesome to get the most part done. Now, the whole reason that this is interesting is because you have to really compare it to the other two dump pouches I had. Now the first one I got from ye old Redbeard and this doesn't need to be on YouTube. First one I got from Redbeard that I particularly like is the uh, BDS Tactical. So this is a lot larger of a dump pouch, but the problem I had is to belt mount it, you generally had to use these extra tabs here. Now that may seem fine, mind you, but when you start putting heavy mags and stuff inside here, although massive and with a very nicely made retention, it's going to flop around a lot. Alternatively, with its fancy pull tab setup, you can set this onto a battle belt, which it fits phenomenally. However, these straps here, not having the triple like I mentioned, meant that put on a simple pistol belt, it's going to slide around quite a bit and be difficult to keep in place. Also, with the thinness of these, they didn't have the surface area to really lock against your body, which means this is going to slide around your back which to some may not be a problem, but to me, I prefer the dump pouch to be in the same place every time. So, this is good, but it's not going to be used right now. Let me move this over here. Secondly, and the dump pouch I care the least for, is going to be the five, or not the five, the Blackhawk dump pouch. This is webbing on the outside, which I guess is cool. What was interesting to me about this initially was that it has these shotgun shell holders or glow stick holders, whatever you want to call them, little elastic bands, which made it great for running the shotgun. However, it, um, even with the additional retention things, it's just not up to spec with how I want it to do. Additionally, these are designed to hold onto a belt, but their means of retention are mostly questionable. So this slides around a lot. This is being made for a pistol belt. Additionally, this is uh, Velcro on the both sides, but it's the rough Velcro and it caught on a bunch of gear and brush and other things that I didn't want it to. So, all that in mind, 
This is a pretty well designed and simple alternative to the two that fits perfectly on a simple pistol belt. Were I to use a battle belt, which battle belts just generally don't agree with me for whichever reason, then yeah, I could put this on there. Although honestly, going battle belt wise, I would definitely refer, uh, defer to the BDS before this one, not because this one's bad, but just because I really like the BDS. It was my first true dump pouch. And, I don't know, it holds things really well, and it works great on a battle belt. Just not so much on a pistol belt. So, that's all I have for you guys. If you have any questions about this, just feel free to write me. I mean, it's pretty simple. 511 makes some pretty good gear. I think they're considered mostly pretty mid-tier. They're not the top of the line, but... I mean, unless I was going to get a mesh, easily drainable, smaller version, which would probably be the way to go. This one is pretty awesome. Lightweight, simple, and inexpensive. So, that's all I really have for you guys today on this review. If you have any questions, let me know. But hopefully this kind of gave you an idea how all it works, what it looks like unfolded. Things that I had a bit more difficulty finding. Oh, additionally, the drainage grommets, before I forget. They're not, they don't have any metal involved. They're just simple uh, stitching, so... They won't rust, but there's always the chance they might pop open. But still, great stuff. GSK approved. So that's all I have for you guys for the dump pouch. And uh, yeah, stay chill with us, everyone. Take care. Cheers.